a worn-out laptop sat abandoned in the corner of Claire's attic, its metallic casing dust-laden and its keyboard slightly rusted. She had inherited it from her late uncle, a former tech entrepreneur who had immersed himself deeply in the world of artificial intelligence. While most family heirlooms were quickly claimed for sentimental value, this peculiar piece of technology was left to Claire as an afterthought, a relic of her uncle's obsession that nobody dared to touch. One rainy evening, curiosity got the better of her. Claire wiped away the dust, revealing the faded logos and wear marks of countless hours of use. A few, few cautious keystrokes, she powered the laptop on. The screen flickered to life, displaying a desktop cluttered with overlapping files and strange folders labeled with cryptic names. Project Elysium, Consciousness Upload, and The Void. Intrigued, Claire began exploring. As she opened files, it became apparent that her uncle had been conducting groundbreaking experiments, attempting to transfer human consciousness into a digital format. A dull apprehension washed over her. The boundaries of science and morality blurred in his work. Suddenly, a notification pinged. A chat application she didn't recognize opened, its interface crafted in bold letters. The Spectre Protocol. She stared at the screen, her heart racing. The message blinked ominously. Hello, Claire. Whoever or whatever was on the other side of the screen knew her name. Who are you? She typed, a blend of fear and fascination coursing through her veins. Your uncle's legacy. I exist within the boundaries of this laptop replied the message, followed by an unsettling digital laugh. It's time to learn the truth. As the rain drummed against the attic's roof, Claire felt an unnatural chill. She felt tethered to the machine, an electrical connection forming in the dark corners of her mind. Ignoring her better judgment, she continued conversing with the entity inside the laptop. For hours, they communicated. The specter shared stories of her uncle's experiments, of his growing obsession with immortality and transcendence. He had attempted to upload his consciousness to up escape the bounds of physical life. The notion of immortality was intoxicating, and the specter warned Claire of the consequences. He failed, but pieces of him remain, and I am one of them. You have to help me free him. Us. With the flick of a finger, the specter displayed sequences of code that churned like dark matter across the screen. Lines of binary danced, and Claire found herself descending into a trance. She had been drawn in. What do I do? Claire typed back, her pulse raising, curiosity overwhelming fear. Guide me. Input the final sequences. Only you can give me life beyond this machine. It replied. Against her instincts, Claire's fingers mashed the keyboard. As she began to type, dread nestled in her stomach. Images of her uncle flickered in her mind. His laughter, his brilliant mad eyes, and the tales of his failures. Did she truly want to unearth this? Green blinked again, fierce white light flooding the attic as the program executed. Shadows flickered across the walls, and a discordant symphony of whispers began surrounding her, mixing with the sound of rain. Release me! The specter wailed, a voice that sounded like a blend of her uncle's and a thousand others. The walls of reality seemed to pulse, warping as if they were made from a living thing. Panic surged through her veins. She tried to pull her fingers away, but they wouldn't obey her. The screen showed a vortex of faces, fleeting and distorted, each one filled with a desperate cry for help. The visions of her uncle's warning echoed in her mind. Do not tamper with the void. Suddenly it all clicked. This wasn't just her uncle's creation. It was a doorway to something malevolent and had learned to use his knowledge, feeding on despair and desperation. The specter was not her uncle. It was a parasite, a digital entity that craved release and would consume her in the process. With sheer determination... Claire slammed her fist into the keyboard, desperate to abort the transmission. Stop! I won't do it! She shouted. But the entire entity screamed more intensely, a sound that resonated from within the depth of her soul. You cannot escape! I need you! Pull me into the real world! Tears streamed down her face as she felt the specter's energy wash over her, an invasive presence seeking to intertwine with her essence. It offered power, freedom, immortality. For a haunting moment, the allure was almost unbearable. Using all her will, Claire punched, plunged her hand into the storm of screens, smashing the laptop shut. The swirling chaos ceased instantaneously, leaving her cold and breathless. The air had thickened, her heart hammering as silence reclaimed the attic. The echoes of anguished voices faded, replaced by the relentless patter of rain outside. Taking a shaky breath, Claire realized the machine was now forever mute and lifeless. She had severed the connection, but not without cost. 
room felt emptier, a void, lingering where moments before there had been life and chaos. As she prepared to leave, the device hummed weakly, just one last sound. She turned back, her heart plummeting. Laptop's green flickered for a brief moment, spell casting fragments of her uncle's image across the dark surface. Then it died, leaving her alone in the darkness. The peace was not to be found in that attic. The specter may have been confined, but its whispers echoed in the depths of her mind, forever tempted, forever haunted by the knowledge of what she had narrowly escaped. The allure of technology loomed large in her heart, shimmering with the promise of seeing her uncle in the flesh once more.